Welcome to part two on this series of Learning to Solder. My name is Kevin. Let's get down to business. All right, I've got my tools here. I've got my soldering iron. I've got my little wire tip cleaner. I've got my solder. I've got my nibbers, and I've got something I want to solder in my tape. Okay, ready. All right. So I've already cut off a piece of solder, and for this one I'm using some indium solder. That's I-N-D-I-U-M, and it's a leaded solder so it's a 6337 bland and the first thing I'm going to do quickly before I get ready to solder is I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on the tip okay this just kind of makes it uh, nice and shiny it'll help the other solder flow that's looking pretty good I really like that okay all right so the, the little project I'm soldering today is from a learn to solder kit it has a push button it's got a little AT Tiny. That's a microcontroller that'll go right here, and uh, it has a bunch of LEDs that go around in this circle. All right. Now, one of the first things you need to know before you solder is that some electronic components must go in a certain way, meaning they have polarity or a certain direction they need to go in. All right. So, for example, for this little uh, LED, one of these leads is the positive, and one is the negative. And um, from my experience, and also from Googling it, uh, the long lead, the one that's the longest, that's the positive, and the short one's the negative. Now, on a circuit board, that's usually denoted by a flat edge. If you can see this, there's a, this uh, circle around here. This outer one has a flat edge. That flat edge is going to denote a flat edge on the LED, or in our case, it's also going to denote it's the negative, okay? So the negative side. There's also another way by looking at the LED that the negative has a little flag inside. You can kind of see that on the right side of that LED. And that's the negative. All right, it looks like a flag. It's metal, but it looks like a flag. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put one of these LEDs in. I'm going to make sure that the uh, small lead is to the right. I'm going to put it in like that. Now I'm going to hold it with my finger and flip it over. Now one of the things I need to do is make sure it doesn't slip out, right, as I try to solder it. So there's a couple of ways I can do that. One is with some tape. I could tape it in place. The other one you can do is bend the leads. And this is a trick a lot of people do is bend the leads like that. Okay. Now some people don't like to do that because then it makes the bottom leads kind of point out a bit. But we'll cut those off. So we're going to do it that way. So let's go ahead and solder. The first step in soldering is to, we're going to place our iron so that it touches the wire and that little round pad next to it. We want to be able to touch both. And then we're going to feed solder into the joint there and get it to flow. So watch this. I'm going to touch it, wait a second, let it heat up, and then push, let it flow, and release. And you can see that it made a nice solder joint there. Let's do the other one. Okay, So let's get the iron in right against the wire lead and that little tab. Wait a second. Push the solder into it. Let it flow and release. And that's how simple it is to solder. Okay. Now the next step I simply want to do is cut those leads off. I'm going to take my nibbers here and we're just going to snip the wire off right at the point where it exits the, the solder joint uh, like that. Gives me a nice clean solder. All right, let's do this little push button switch for another one. So this switch is, uh, you can see on the circuit board here, it's only going to go in a certain way. It doesn't go that way, but if I turn it this way, it's going to work. Now notice that this has got some bent leads on it, and that's going to be really nice. That's going to hold it in place for us. So as I pop that in to the circuit board, it's going to hold nice and snug. I don't need to tape it. I don't need to bend any leads. There, it's already bent for me. Okay, it's going to work really, really well. All right, so there we have it. 
kind of hard to see. Yeah, you can see those leads there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is again take the solder. Now I'm left handed. You can see I'm holding the, the tip or the soldering iron in my left hand. All right, put the tip down, feed the solder, and release. Put the tip down, feed the solder, and release. Okay, that looks really good. Got a nice push button now, soldered in. Into my tip. All right, now, in this case, I've got a little AT Tiny. This is a microcontroller. You'll notice in that upper left corner, let me point at it with the solder here. There is a little dot, okay? That tells us pin one. That there's a certain way to align this. Now notice on my circuit board there's that little circle too. That's going to help us know where this goes. So I'm going to simply put that in its place with that little dot, making sure I get that right up in the corner. Now that's staying really snug, so that's going to be an easy one to solder too. If not, I just put a little piece of tape on it. Okay. Let's go ahead and solder that real quick. And one more. Okay, there we go. So there's part one or part two in learning to solder, how to put the components in, solder them in the right direction, and, and flow the solder.